and his number one fan, who just happens to live in the same house as Sean. They are the focus of this week's High Five. He dribbles a basketball with ease and flair. He shoots fluidly and accurate, and he runs the court for a full 32 minutes. Sean Ryan of Andover High School takes none of this for granted. He would trade in all of his skills and achievements if his 11-year-old brother, Kevin, could walk. Kevin can often be found courtside cheering on Sean. Kevin was born with cerebral palsy. Life hasn't been very fair to Kevin, but you'd hardly know it by the grin on his face. He loves his big brother, and the feeling is mutual. He's the biggest thing in my life as far as uh, basketball and off the court. Uh, uh, I think my success in basketball is due to him. You know, scholarship, probably thank him. Uh, he pushes me over the edge as far as, uh, you know, I'm down or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I might, you know, not be playing so well or whatever. You just think of him and think of other handicapped kids and uh, push you over the edge. Right before the game, and he kind of even brings a tear to your eye a little bit. He gives him a kiss as we're going on to warm up uh, to play Cambridge. You kind of get the, the, uh, the shivers going a little bit. But yeah, he's just a great kid. Sean wears a cross on his shoelace and Kevin's name on his sneaker. His thoughts of Kevin are never lost, not even in the heat of an overtime game. If something's going wrong, I'm missing a couple shots. Look over, see if he's smiling, get you uh, up and uh, going again. Their mom and dad, both teachers, are at most games. Their dad, Charlie, gave up coaching rival Lowell High School to watch Sean play his final three years and to have a first-hand look at his two boys on a basketball floor. Sean is on his way to Monmouth College in New Jersey in the fall on a full scholarship. It will be the first time that he will live away from Kevin. What's going to happen when you go in September? When you go away to school in New Jersey? Uh, I'll probably have to put him in my suitcase somehow if I can. I don't know. <laughs> uh, see if we can schedule some games up uh, in the Boston area, but uh, it's going to be tough. I really don't know how I'm going to handle it right now. Geography can't put a strain on this relationship. College will be over in four years. This is a pact for life. And over Sean Ryan, this week's High Five. Yeah, it was a terrific story, and uh, the family had so much fun over the past four years just watching them play basketball. Sure. <sighs> We're supposed to talk after that. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Not fair, Nat. Still ahead, Dickie's.